The Amazon Echo Dot is the retail giant's smallest and cheapest offering in the smart home range. What's a smart home? It's where your home's appliances and devices can be controlled remotely, and in the case of the Dot, you can use it to play music, make calls, or ask for news, information, or set a reminder, all without lifting a finger, or leaving the couch. Alexa, play me Beyond Compare by Finder. Let's talk credit and the debt that comes with it. Cards are maxed through the roof, I don't get it. So let's put this pint-sized device through its paces and see how it stacks up. The Dot is a shrunk down sibling of the Amazon Echo 2020. It's just smaller. The Echo Dot is Amazon's entry level model designed for people who want the basics of smart speaker operation or want to add smart speaker features to an existing sound system. The fourth gen Dot has been developed on the same idea. It still operates as a standalone smart speaker or works as the smart front end for other speakers if you hook it up through the 3.5mm output jack located on the back. Compared to the model before the 4th gen dot, which was a lot flatter physically, this new generation of speaker does stand out a little more. Especially if you choose the more expensive option, which comes with an LED style clock under the fabric. While it looks pretty cute, it does mean there's a separate glowing display, as well as the light ring that shows Alexa is processing your commands. And just like every other Echo, it lights up red if you put the speaker on mute. The fourth generation Echo Dot is Amazon's cheapest 2020 Echo speaker, which means it's not a speaker powerhouse. You might think that the sphere design means you get 360 degree audio, but you don't. The speaker very much points outward and upwards from the front of the speaker ball where the mesh is. So if you want the best audio from it, you're better off putting it against a wall rather than in the center of a room. On the positive side, I was really impressed with the microphone's pickup. It's a small speaker at a low price point, and it could be forgiven for being a bit slow on the uptake, but that wasn't the case. Alexa, how do I use my Barbie? Here's something I found on the web. According to howtodog.com, for professional quality photos, place the Barbie in front of a white backdrop, such as a sheet, and use a tripod to avoid blurring. While Amazon's Alexa Assistant still struggles a bit with my Aussie accent, it's no worse than other devices. In fact, compared to Google's Assistant, I find that Alexa is a little bit quicker dealing with smart home gadgets. The other Echo Dot feature I tested was the clock. Having the clock as an extra option will cost a little more for what looks like just a digital clock, but you can ask Alexa to run a timer for you, which can be pretty handy. Alexa, start a timer. Timer for how long? One minute. One minute, starting now. So, should you buy the Amazon Dot? Well, Amazon's updated Echo Dot does have a few benefits from the redesigned shape, there's not much point buying one when the cheaper third generation model is still available. In my opinion, if you're looking for a cheap, simple start to setting up a home smart speaker system at your place, you're probably better off starting on something a little bit bigger. But if you do have a setup already and you've chosen the Amazon Alexa route, the fourth gen Echo Dot with clock is a fine extension to your smart home. Alexa, what's the weather in Sydney? In Sydney, Australia, it's 22 degrees Celsius with rain. Tonight, you can look for showers with a low of 22 degrees. 